very educated and informed, and so are you, and as well as yourself, I think it's important that y'all contaminate the spaces that y'all have with education information. You know, and keep on having that charisma in that heart, because that's what's going to change the whole entire landscape of the paradigm of Baltimore City. It's not going to happen when an old guy walk up begging for change. He's not going to be in your mind. You got to be young people like you guys. It's going to be very involved and engaged. And it can't be moments. It got to be a movement. For so long, we had moments in Baltimore, and the next meeting, we talk about something else. Right now, we're in crisis. And to your point earlier, these kids are hopeless and desensitized. I was talking to the country the today. Never seen a time with kids think about dying. It's time for y'all to tell them to think about living. Because now, at 20 years old, that's almost the life expectancy based on statistics of an inner city young youth in Baltimore who's not doing what y'all guys are doing. So y'all got to tell me it does work, but your platform is big, small, and large. Like right now, you know, I, I always tell people, strength is not always in the numbers. We only have one God, and he's supposed to say the word. And we have one black president, and he gave everybody a message. To me, he's the messenger. And if the message makes sense, it will contaminate everybody, or everybody will carry it forward, you know? Somebody said it was free money in the, in the harbor, everybody will go down there. You don't need a lot of people to tell nobody that, right? They can say it's money, they can go down there and get it. So I think y'all education is very important. And I like to see people invest more money into your education. So therefore, you can not only learn, but you can prepare to succeed and compete. And I want to say one thing earlier that a lot of young folk like yourself cannot compete, cannot succeed if you're not given the opportunity by way of education. Like how can you go try to learn and you're in a classroom that's so cold? or it's so hot, you can't focus. So that's not your fault. And if you're not even exposed to those conditions, if you go to a neighborhood where you gotta take shortcuts because you're so afraid you might get shot, all that's a form of PSD, PTSD, all of it, because now you're so immune to it that if it happens, you're not, okay, somebody said power, right? Somebody get shot five minutes ago, the average young kid like, for real? He got his wings, and I hear this all the time. Wings, I'm like, what do they mean by he got his wings? That means that, okay, he's going to heaven. Now what you doing later? That fast, then it went from grieving to talk about doing something else. And to me, that's a part of the problem because now hurt people are hurting people. And I just want to say, if you guys continue to do what y'all are doing, we got hope. And this is my hope right here. Today. And y'all in the right place, y'all took y'all time to speak to an audience, whether it's five of us or five thousand. I mean, someone got the message, you know, and that's all y'all need to be proud of. Somebody got y'all the message. I know I got it. So I'm gonna thank y'all for coming. I'm gonna thank you for being a beautiful pregnant host, you know, and coming to chance some time with us. But um, you know, this this is gonna go forward. Like I definitely wanna create platforms for young folks to speak to people so the message can be conveyed because sometimes if you don't have a relationship or this person don't respect you or trust you, they're not going to listen to you. And a lot of young folks don't like listening to older folks. For some reason, it has been a, uh, a trigger that we don't know what we're talking about. We didn't see what y'all never seen. But for some reason, y'all think we don't know what we're talking about. And that has been perpetuated every single day when someone talks to a mentor or talks to a young folk, whether it be a young lady or a young male, because they think they got it all figured out. You know, and that's where some of the problems come in there, you know. And it's all about relationships, it's all about police. That's important because the police can, you know, create a very honest relationship and be friendly like they used to be. A lot of kids will be less hostile. But they're going to always be looking at the enemy in the state if they continue to treat us the way they've been treating us over the years. So hopefully that will change too, you know. But again, it starts with education, information, and positive people like y'all because guess what? When they see y'all coming, they gonna have a problem because y'all prepared to succeed. They don't have a problem nobody prepared to fail. They only got plans for that. They got places for them already. And so keep doing what y'all doing. Thank you for coming. I think um, you know Mar for letting you guys know come out, man. It's gonna be something of a larger scale. Um, again, maybe college students. I don't know, but I want to thank y'all for coming out on my behalf to speak to us. And I, and I learned a lot, and I want to say thank you. Thank you, Mar. I told you right here now. I'm on the way you ask show, man. We're inside with the song Academy High School. Give these kids a platform to speak about the change they want to see, man. It's a blessing to be here. Looking forward to many more. Thank you. Where you at?